So just so folks know where this is located, most people know the Orange Military Apartments and the Subdirection de Ecologica, the Progresso Animal Shelter, the Progresso Veterinarian Service Center is right here. There's also a Zona Verde where you can bring your recyclables. Hi, mama dog. So this is where Dr. Monica comes over and works numerous times of the week in the afternoons to spay and neuter, to provide surgeries on animals that have been uh, injured, and provides the services needed for all of the animals, cats, the dogs that are brought over here. You know, we really, really, really hope that each and every one of you can purchase a ticket for this raffle. We started this morning off with 83 tickets sold. That is so awesome, of 200. And this is only day three. So we really hope you can find it in your hearts to donate 500 pesos, 1,000 pesos, whatever your, your heart can, uh, can stand or your wallet can stand. Uh, get in touch with me via WhatsApp, via Facebook Messenger, or you can use my PayPal, Yucatan Snook at gmail.com and directly uh, make a deposit uh, to PayPal and then I will send your confirmation with your official ticket numbers. The drawing will be held April 30th at 6 p.m. at the Casa de la Cultura in Progreso. It'll be live on my Facebook page as well. We'll tape it for YouTube. So y'all, once again, sincerely, for everybody that's already helped out, I wanna say thank you sincerely for your help and uh, I look forward to reaching our goal. Thanks, you guys. So folks, everybody say hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, little baby. So folks, this area right here is just on the back side of the Ecological Veterinarian Service Center, or the Progresso Animal Shelter, as I'm calling it. And as you can see, there's no shade. It's just, it needs totally revamped and this is going to be one of our our main goals is to create a beautiful setting I have an example picture I'm going to put up here so you can see my goal and what I'm going to try to create here in this space I've been told we can expand it just a little bit further this way so that will be one of our goals so that way these little puppies that were collected they will be spayed and neutered and they will be up for adoption um, are here at the center, but they need to be in some shade. They need to have the comfortability that uh, the dogs need. This is another one of our, our projects. This is underneath here, the septic, and we want to dig this out and expand it because of the fact that when they're washing the the animal cages they have tubing in there and that tubing we're going to flush out as well so it's good and clean but uh, it, it fills up and uh, that water comes back up into the cages and that's something we don't want we want to make it clean and sanitary and healthy for the animals that are inside here in the cages let's go inside and take a look So our goal here, number one, it has this wire mesh, but it doesn't go all the way up. We're gonna replace all this wire mesh on these cages. First, we're gonna take all these off and we're going to repaint them all. Monica says they can't put cats in here because the little cats can get out. So we're gonna put all the proper mesh, sand all these down, clean them all up. Again, with, with the, uh, the plumbing that you can see, this all needs to be cleaned out. Here's my mama dog. Hi, sweetheart. My baby. So that the animals here, we have another section of cages right over here that uh, need to be cleaned out. So this is going to be one of our main goals. So folks, I just want to state my mission statement here for what uh, your donated dollars, all of our donated dollars are going to do. We have three major projects. 
Number one, the back area that I've showed you where those puppies were, we're gonna recreate that into a beautiful setting with shade and uh, separations for the animals. We're going to take the cages, we're gonna sand them, repaint them, put the new wire mesh on the inside so that cats can be held there just as well. Uh, we're going to clean all and flush all of the tubing. Uh, again, each of those cages has tubing that goes down. Uh, so we want to make sure all those are flushed and clean and we're going to expand the septic area so that no water is flushed back up into the, uh, into the cages when it fills up. And the excess funds are gonna provide Dr. Monica and the other visiting vets that do spay and neuter uh, materials, uh, the medical materials that are needed for those uh, projects, as well as, again, excess dinero will buy excess food. So I really hope, once again, you all can join me and purchase a ticket and help out this worthy cause. Thanks, you all, very much.